Hello and welcome to another Watch Pro Originals interview and something slightly different for you today. I'm actually joined today by Watch Pro's German editor, Antje Heepmann, um, and we're going to get a perspective on how life has been in Germany. It's a, it's a country that's had um, relative success in containing the coronavirus outbreak compared to its Euro European neighbours and is now exiting lockdown um, tentatively, um, probably a little bit ahead of some others. So we might be, get a bit of insight from, uh, from Germany as to what the future might look like in London, New York uh, and, and elsewhere around the world. So anyway, it's d d delighted to welcome my colleague Antje. How are you? Uh, how are you coping over there? So I'm very fine. Hello, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm very fine um, because, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm in the home office and I'm used to be in the home office. So for me, everything is fine. And even in, in Germany, we're very lucky how, how the things um, are going on here. Because um, as you told, the, the numbers of infected people and so on, it's, it's quite okay. And um, the reason for that is that we have the lockdown quite early. And um, so, so and the people are quite disciplined, I think. So we have in Germany, you know, we have a federal states, different 16 several states, and they have the, most of them, they can do their own rules in the way. But in the lockdown, they were, they were very, uh, quite similar, the lockdown rules. And um, so in most of the um, jewelers really agrees with these rules. And um, so they, they agreed with the lockdown mm. and after the opening, they agree with um, yeah the hygiene and safety rules like wearing a mask when you do a um, when you have a customer in in the shop you have the plexiglass wall between the customer uh, between the sales assistant and the customer and um, that makes it very difficult to sell um, such an emotional product like like a watch or, or like a jewelry. Yeah. What was good for for the jewelers in Germany is that there are a lot of family run shops. So they, a lot of them have their own buildings where the shops are inside. It's very, very important to save money and the family is working in the shop. So, but, um, and now they're really, really motivated to start to, to sell all these nice watches and, and jewels. Um, when but the customer is very, very, um, yeah. When, when, were, when were they allowed to open? How long, how long have they been allowed to be open as we sit here today? Uh, I think it was since two weeks, two weeks. It's a little bit different uh, concerning the, the uh, federal states. So Bavarian is, uh, I think, started at the end of April. And for example, here in Hamburg, we started uh, to open the shops at the 20th of April. No, then it's more than three weeks, three or four weeks. Yeah. yeah. So including so the jewelers, so, was it, so including, you know, any size jeweler has been allowed to be open for three weeks? No, in the beginning, only shops, um, are allowed to open up to eight, 800 square meters. And that was, yeah, for jewelers, so, so most of the jewelers could open, of course, not, not all of the, the, you know, there are some, some big ones like, like Buhar or so, um, they were not allowed to open, but also this um, uh, depends on the, the uh, federal state you stay in. So for example, in North Rhine Westphalia, uh, they could, I think they could open more or less from the beginning, the big stores really, like Ikea, for example. <laughs> right. um, and now since I, I think one week in all Germany, all shops are open. And now uh, it starts that the restaurants can open too. Yeah. And you, you were telling, telling me earlier that there, there was a real excitement among, among the jewelers ahead of the yeah. opening, getting prepared to open, you know, making all the business decisions and security decisions that needed to be made. Um, so compare that time today to how things then progressed over the, over the few weeks they've been allowed to trade. So, yeah, in the beginning, the mood or some days before I talked to several jewelers and they were in a really, really good mood and they can't wait to open and, and talk to all the customers and say, welcome back. And they, are, they were all very well prepared concerning the, the hygiene and, and safety rules. Um, and yeah, some of them sent me funny pictures wearing all the masks and, and things like that. So they were really in a good mood. And some of them told me that in the first days, they got uh, good sales, but then it decreases like this. 
So, so um, what I've heard is that more or less 50% uh, that they have 50% uh, less uh, turnover than than in the time in last year. So, okay. well, they, 50, they, 50 percent down is better than. 90% no, of course, of course, of course. So, so, I, made, so I, made, I made a little survey and the comments are like this. They said it's better than nothing, of course. Yeah, I think, I think one problem will maybe be that their stocks are full. So, so the question is, will they be able to order new, new products, new watches? That, that I think will be the next problem. And um, yeah, but it's not only, only for the jewelers a problem. The, the customer in Germany, um, is waiting. He's really waiting and and uh, want to save the money. There are surveys which say that they don't want to buy luxury goods and then they want to wait. So the, the thing is that there are a lot of people in um, short time work, so they get sixty or sixty seven percent of their of their normal money in the month. So they have to, to yeah they have to save their money probably, mm. and um, and. And one thing I see is that the people become restless. They, they, they want to know what is happening in the next or in the rest of the year, but nobody can, can give them an answer. And that's, that's a problem. But the mood uh, among the jewelers is still good. They don't give up. So they're not depressed or something like that. That's not. The mood is still good. Um, but how, much, um, how, much, how much government support was there during during the lockdown, were, was there support in terms of the government helping to pay wages or make, make uh, guarantee loans to their businesses, that type of thing? So, so, so these both things, uh, um, guarantee loans, and uh, they, they pay a part of the, the short time salary. It's very difficult to, <laughs> to explain it. So, but uh, these things and um, uh, financial, financial helps, are the, they pay, uh, for the very small um, uh, co companies, they pay 5,000 uh, uh, euros just in three days or 10,000 euros just directly just to pay pay the rent or to pay the, the, the employees. So that, that was really good. And the jeweler said to me that was very easy to, to apply, very quick on the <laughs> to get this money and that works worked very, very well. So it was... Uh, all these these helps financial helps uh, is an amount of sixty percent of the whole um, how do you say brutto uh, sozial product <laughs> the whole just um, of the gross domestic product that's the right expression yeah so it's sixty percent of the German domestic uh, uh, product they paid for as this financial aid during right. Corona crisis so that's a big amount I think so so is there is there a, is there a sense that pretty much um, all, if not the vast majority of jewellers have made it through the crisis to this point. There have been no uh, mass bankruptcies, closures on, on, on the high street. Yeah. So, so I asked ask to the um, association of the jewellers, to the, to the um, CEO, and he told me there have been some jewellers who closed their shops, but they had closed anyway. So they had problems before. Um, not yet, not yet. They haven't uh, closed yet, but we, I think we have to wait the next six months, the next year, how, if they can stay alive. But yeah, not at the moment. There haven't been many bankrupt bankruptcies. Yeah, I think, that, I think that was going to be my question, that as the, gov as the government sort of winds down the support measures and the, and the level of business doesn't increase, mm -hmm. then you might be looking at um, far more difficulties towards the end of the year rather than yeah. immediately now. Yeah. So and then then the jewelers who have their own building and who are family run, then they have a big advantage. I think they can, they can stay longer. Mm. And, and I mean, stay one, longer. one of one difference between the German market and the, the UK market, and certainly the London market, it is it's much more heavily a, a domestic market. Germ, you know, the watches are being sold to German people rather than relying on Chinese tourists coming in in the way that London is so heavily. Mm -hmm. heavily okay. Yeah. Do you think that might help them be more resilient as the, as things play forward? Oh, that, that, uh, yeah, this could be. So, so I think in, 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 in uh, cities like, like Berlin or Munich and, and Hamburg, they are all, they're the tourist 
important customers too. But yeah, that that might be that it's that, that is it is that it is more domestic. Um, yeah, might be. Yeah, I think so. I'm fairly sure what it would be. Um, and what what further uh, measures will there be in terms of easing the lockdown, or or is it pretty much open now in Germany? Yeah. So normal. Also everything is open until. Uh, so the schools, but that's, I think that's not, not, not our, our subject. Um, there are only uh, the social distancing rules and wearing the mask. That's more or less all. Yeah. So every, all shops are open. And a lot of our, a, a lot of our uh, readers, listeners, viewers will be excited to, to see that football starting up again in, in, in Germany. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all going to be Bundesliga fans this weekend. <laughs> Oh, oh that, that, there's a big discussion in Germany about uh, restart of the of the soccer league uh, this weekend, and um, we, we uh, tell it the ghost games. I don't know if you you um, so without an audience they play yeah, without that, the yeah. audience, and there's a big discussion <laughs> about this. There are a lot of who who really looking forward to it, but there are a lot of who say, um, okay, they're allowed. To, to play soccer and, and, and uh, but but the the smaller clubs the smaller leagues they are not allowed to do it so it's a it's a big discussion and this morning I heard a survey that um, more than fifty percent uh, of the Germans don't agree with the restart of the the soccer league so oh, really yeah really so I was surprised too mm. but um, I think they a lot of Germans think it's not so important at the moment to watch soccer games so well they, they would be the ones that aren't football fans i, I suppose but um and what and 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 finally in terms of the mood of the nation do, do you know do you do your friends do your family mm -hmm. you know want to get out and about are you you know are you happy to go out into shops and go on pub, public transport and that sort of thing i'm just wondering at the moment we've got this sort of fear of going out because we're still just opening yeah. up just beginning to open up but does that ease over time so, so me personally, I've been, um, to, to be honest, I'm not really in the mood to go in the shops. I will do it uh, this, uh, this afternoon and um, I will go out this afternoon in, in the evening for the first time since I think four, four months and I will have a look if I will enjoy it. So I'm, I think we all haven't, so, so one jeweler said to me, the Germans have to learn that shopping is allowed again so and, and we need it i think we need a, a long time to learn it so that's that's my impression to be honest so it's not that the people run and want to go out and want to go shopping that's not the fact i'm sorry <laughs> yeah well uh, I, I... but 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 the mood is good the mood is the mood is good and um the people um i think they're also a little bit proud that the things in german runs quite well so, and they want to, 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 to prevent a second wave. That's the most important thing at the moment. Yeah, I think uh, I think you should be proud because we're certainly very jealous of what we're seeing in Germany. I mean, the you know the the, the numbers here are so so much worse and have, have been throughout this crisis. Um, and when you look at what's happening in New York and Seattle and California, you know, Germany's done. I'm really shocked when I, when I see the, the pictures and, and read the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, well, I think that's given us a put, pretty good uh, feel for feel for how things are going. It's great to see you looking so well and happy. And <laughs> okay, same to you. And uh, I think we're going to speak again on Monday when we're going to have a, a four-way four conversation with London, New York, um, Switzerland great. and uh, Hamburg. Yeah, I'm uh, really looking forward to it. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks okay, stay safe. Mm -hmm.